Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous videos, we have already seen how we can create a database, connect a database and load a sample database and then we can take the backup of any database using PG Admin or any other tool in PostgreSQL database. Now in this video, we will start learning about the data definitions in PostgreSQL. So first data definitions, we will learn about the tables, tables in PostgreSQL. So to learn about the tables in PostgreSQL, we must know that tables are very important in PostgreSQL because all of our data are stored in table and in PostgreSQL table are exactly like we draw tables in paper or we have table formats in any uh, relational database that is row in the format of row and columns okay for example I'll draw one table like this a table in PostgreSQL is also like this this will be in the format of columns like this and rows so there are some properties of columns and rows we'll see them so these are the these vertical sections these are the columns and these horizontal sections these are the rows of a table so there are some properties uh, so let's discuss them so in columns in a table the all the columns names must be unique in multiple tables column can have same name but within one table a column must be unique for example the name of this column is ABC any other column means any three of these columns cannot have the same column name as ABC they should have different name and how many columns will be there in a table that is also fixed fixed means when we create a table we need to define that how many columns will be there in my table that means that can be 10 or 15 or any number and that is fixed number of columns but when it comes to rows rows means number of record one single record is called a row that is read horizontally like this so that cannot be limit that can have any number of record depending upon how much data are getting added into the tables so we learn that table columns will be fixed how many columns will be there but the rows will be not fixed so the table will grow vertically that means columns are fixed and new data will keep adding and also we can uh, delete data then it will decrease now let's discuss about the data order and the uniqueness in a table the uniqueness of any table is maintained through unique id or we say primary key or other constraints that we learn uh, going forward so we store unique data uh, row wise but when it comes to data order there is no guarantee of the data order that means when we fetch the data from our table there is no guarantee that in this order only table data will be fetched until we explicitly mention that we need the data in this order in this sorting so sorting can be defined through the keyword order by we learn those things going forward but you need to remember as of now that yes there is sorting criteria but the data order is not maintained automatically we need to tell the PostgreSQL that we need data in this sorting and regarding the column data types column data type every column should have one data type it can be any data type like numeric it can be date it can be timestamp like that every column has a data type and the data stored in every column that should respect that data type because from data type only we come to know that what kind of data this column will have so we put restriction on that column that a particular column can have only one particular type of data we define data types of every column so that we know that what kind of data one column will have and also it helps in doing the calculations for example say we need to do calculations on the salaries of employee or total number of sales of a product so uh, we know what kind of data our column have that must have number data types obviously so we will define the column data type as such we will see these things uh, with example example now just like other relational databases PostgreSQL is also having some built-in data types such as integer numeric text date time or timestamp and so on and also PostgreSQL provides the privilege to create a custom data type to user depending upon the requirement the application needs now let's create a sample table our first table in PostgreSQL we need to remember that to create a table we use create table statement the create table statement we use to create any table in the PostgreSQL database so we'll create the first table I have copied here so that we can save some time 
this statement create table my underscore first underscore table and the first column name is first column and it is defined as text second column is named as second column and it the data type is as integer so when we execute this command what will happen this will create a table table name will be my first table and it it is having two columns first column and second column so let's create the table okay the table is created now to see if the table is created go to table section from ui refresh this and expand it you will see the table created also you can verify this by writing like this select query we will learn about select queries as well select start from table name table name is my first table so i'll copy that and paste here then I'll execute it. So it returned no data because we haven't inserted or added any data into this table. Here also we can see that how many columns are there that is fixed. There are two columns only and how many rows will be there that is not fixed. As of now we have zero records but later we can add as many records as possible depending upon how many data we add. So let's create another table with realistic example. Always choose descriptive names for tables and columns to reflect the data type the data stores. So here is the second table we are creating called as products. The first column that we are creating is of integer type and the second column is of text and the third column is of numeric type. We will create this table. The table is created and in the same way we can verify if the table is created. Go to tables, refresh it. So here is the second table okay the table is created there is a tip here to remember for you that integer when we define a data type as integer it will store only whole numbers like one two three four like that but when we mention numeric it will store both the things that both whole numbers that one two three four like that and also the decimal values or the fractional values and it is obvious that we are we are creating the price column with numeric because we expect that price may not be the whole number always it can be in fraction like 5.5 5.75 .5, 5 10 10.1 like that so we are creating this as numeric but the product number we expect it to as whole number like it can be uh, 2 3 5 1 2 4 like that now let's come to this picture so here we have some limits in columns that we cannot add unlimited number of columns in a table there can be maximum to 50 to 1600 columns uh, and it depends on the data type of the column that we create and it is very unlikely that we will create any table with such a huge number of columns that 250 to 1600 columns and usually we don't do it and uh, it indicate to poor uh, database uh, designing of a table okay now let's learn about removing a table to remove a table we use the drop table statement for example say we need to remove this table product so we'll use the command drop table then the table name products so we'll execute this this should drop the table called product so the table is dropped if i refresh this i may not be able to see the table product table is dropped now but while dropping the tables we need to do the error handling because whenever we go and try to drop a table which is already not there that will give us the error for example say i have dropped this table but i'll again try to drop and this table doesn't exist currently so this throws an error to avoid this what we can do is we can write the similar query but with some modifications so we'll write like this drop table then we'll write if exist so if exist also we can use during the creation of table and during the dropping of any table we can use simply drop table create table statements now if i execute this statement we know the table is already dropped it is it will not going to drop the table but also it will not give the exception it skip and say with notice that table product doesn't exist and it skipped the statement so instead of throwing error it uh, generates a notice and the statement processing is skipped also we can modify the tables that we are going to discuss in upcoming videos and uh, modifying tables enhance data integrity security and convenience as well and data entry also we'll see them how we insert any data using insert statement in postgresql so we will learn about these things in upcoming videos so in this video we learned about tables 
the table structures and the basics of tables rows and columns so in the next video we we'll learn about the default values in table so if the video was helpful do like the video and subscribe my channel to get the notifications for upcoming videos we'll continue from this topic we'll learn about the default values in a table so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye